How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Stardew Valley Let's Play and guys today we have the Grange Festival coming up and I'm very excited to see how we do so let's get straight into the action people. Ah uh, yes Aaron it's time to wake up it's a bright new day and as you can see we've got quite a bit of money coming in and it's almost halfway through the month of fall so as always let's have a quick look at the weather and see what's going on so it's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind and the fortune teller. Oh, hell, the spirits, they're very happy. Oh my goodness, the spirits are happy for once in their lives. <laughs> oh gosh, and as you can see, guys, our farm is coming along very nice. We've got cranberries ready. The fairy roses are ready as well. Oh, this is incredible, people. So what I want to do is I actually need a fairy rose for the Grange Festival. If you remember, uh, where's the box? I've got a box and I'm starting to collect items for it. And as you can see, we get one from each category, mineral, forage, cooking. So we're going to try. I don't want to pull out too many of these, but if we get lucky, we might get a golden fairy rose. Okay. Oh, yes. We got one. Oh, that was easy. Oh, so we'll just plant those back in. Beautiful. And uh, they'll grow back. And now we can get fairy rose honey as well. And oh my gosh, I'm getting cranberries. So the other thing I need to do is, and I might just get a piece of quartz out of my uh, harvesting box here, is we're going to get a few cranberries. Uh, well, I'm going to get them all, of course. Uh, but if I can get a golden one, uh, I believe cranberry is a fruit. Ah, uh, yes, beautiful. And I can also put that in for the Grange Festival. Uh, so let's add them to the box while I remember. So let's put in our golden fairy rose, a golden cranberry. So I only need two more things. So we need the pumpkin and we need some fairy rose honey. So that is absolutely incredible, people. And oh my gosh. So now really all I need to do for the next few days is just do a little bit of harvesting, a little bit of farming and all that good stuff. And we will check on our chickens as well uh, because those poor little things, they're all grown up now. And oh, there's even more cranberries. Oh, there's so much to do. But let's go say hi to the chickens. And uh, yeah, you guys have been giving me great tips with the animals and stuff like planting grass in the fence uh, because they can't eat it, but it will keep spreading it back out. So that's pretty nice as well. And let's have a look. Hello, chickens. How are you today? Let's say hello. And oh, they're starting to get hearts. Melanie is very happy. Oh, chickens. Thank you for the eggs. And you know what we should do is we should start uh, making mayonnaise uh, because we're getting lots of extra eggs now. So we will give them a quick little feed. There we go. We'll put some... Oh, no. Don't, don't kill the barn, Happy. What are you doing? I pushed the wrong hotkey. <laughs> and uh, we will open the door. Yes, chickens. Come out. Come and play in the fields. <laughs> oh, you crazy chickens. Okay, we'll close that. So, guys, I've got a bit of watering to do. And then we'll head into town uh, because I might buy some more crops to plant today as well. Oh, guys, it looks like we've got a movie scene. Oh, no way. I think it's uh, it must be Haley's romance scene. <laughs> As always, guys, I'll put a timestamp on screen. Uh, I always clean under the cushions. It's your turn this week. I haven't seen Haley angry before. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Calm down, Haley. It's going to be okay. And now Emily's probably angry as well. Oh, no, she's been pretty chilled. You're being childish, Haley. I do the vast majority of work in this house, and you know it. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I don't see Haley doing too much work. <laughs> Oh, it's that new farm boy. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I think I've got two hearts with Haley. He has a name, you know. <laughs> Say my name. <laughs> Acknowledge me. Notice me, Haley. Hey, I bet you'll understand my point of view here. Boy, it doesn't sound like she does much work. Sai, I'm really sorry to involve you this in Aaron because Haley is complaining because I asked her to clean under the cushions. Okay, well, it can get pretty dirty and dusty under the cushions. And you can find money sometimes too. It's only because I cleaned them last week. So <laughs> we've got some responses. Stop whining and just clean it. <laughs> Haley, why not this why not have this be your one weekly job? Emily, take the high road and do it this time. Okay. So we have to maybe try and keep them both happy here. Um <laughs> Yeah, that that's probably not gonna <laughs> keep Haley too happy. And uh, I think Emily does a lot of the work, so I think it would be nice if Haley had a weekly job here. Alright, let's see what she says. So, oh, she's frowning a little bit. Oh, she's thinking about it. Don't kill me, Haley. I'm sorry. Alright, you win. I guess this can be my job every week. Then there's there won't be any reason to argue over it. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Aaron. That was a great solution. Oh, yes, I made Emily happy. I don't know if I get friendship points with Emily for that. Oh. So anyway, I was just wandering into town to see if anything was going on uh, because we are starting to get more two hearts with people. So we're going to have more and more events starting to happen, but uh, I have a bit more farming to do. So let's keep going. 
Ah, all our farming is done for the day and as you can see guys, I have a ton of stuff to sell and I'm basically keeping the normal quality of eggs and I'm like selling the gold and silver ones. Uh, just so I'm making a bit of extra cash and let's say hi to Mayor Lewis as we're cruising through. Everyone seems a little bit happier on weekends. Yeah, most people like the weekends, they're pretty good. Feeling gloomy, eggplant might cheer me up. Okay, yeah, sure, if you want an eggplant. They are pretty yum, I suppose. We will take that quest. And actually, I haven't looked at my quest for a while. Uh, oh, I'm still growing that am amaranth, so that'll be done soon. And uh, Pam is thirsty. I need to make pale ale for her. I, I probably need to get some kegs happening, uh, which I think I can make. But let's see how much cash we're about to make. So we're on 26,000. Okay, I'm just going to sell all of this. Whoa, here we go. Oh, $56,000. Oh, that is insane. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to buy a little bit more bok choy just to replace uh, the stuff that I've uh, harvested today. So what I'm going to do now, I was actually looking at the community center bundles for the fishies and uh, I think there's a few I can catch now definitely the night fish you can catch eel from the beach uh, after 4 p.m. so perfect timing and I happen to have my fishing rod on me now so let's do a little bit of fishing Oh, you crazy chickens. Why are you so crazy? But they are very much enjoying their nice little home outside there. But I've got something special to show you guys today. Our pumpkins are ready. And you won't believe it. We got a giant pumpkin. Oh, my goodness. It's amazing. Look how big it is. Oh, this is insane. So, as you can see, guys, you can plant multiple uh, crops together and still get giant crops. So that's actually really awesome now. Our aramanth is also ready as well, but I'm going to need a scythe uh, to actually harvest that. And oh, I've got some honey ready. Is that fairy honey or normal? I can't, I'm not quite sure. Let's see. No, I harvested a fairy rose. I just want the honey. No, yes, I got fairy rose honey. Oh, I'm so sorry, fairy rose. I'm sorry. Oh, but I've actually been doing some silly things. Last night, I was trying to put the bok choy in and I accidentally dug up one of the rare plants. Oh, so I put a bok choy in its place. But uh, anyway, so let's do... The first thing we can do is let's harvest our aramanth. Uh, amaranth. <laughs> I keep saying it wrong. So we'll give one of these to Marnie because that's a quest we've got. And I'm pretty sure to harvest a giant pumpkin, you need to hit it with an axe. So let's get it. Whoa, I got 18 pumpkins out of it. <gasps> that is awesome. Now, the big question is, do we leave the other pumpkins in to try and get another giant one? So let's harvest these three. And I've got a golden one. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually finish off our Grange box here. So let's see, I've got seven items. We'll put a golden pumpkin and we'll also put fairy rose honey because that's artisan goods. Vegetable, fruit, flour, cooking, forage, mineral, resource. We got it all, people. We're ready for the festival. Is that nine items? Yeah, it's nine items. Awesome. So I'll do a bit of watering and then let's go hand some of our quests in. I've got the eggplant for Sebastian and I've got amaranth for Marnie. It's going to be amazing. Oh, yes, money. I've got presents for you. And there's Jazz. Hello, Jazz. Uh, do you want something? I have to get some of the gifts she likes. She likes the pink cake, but I only have one for the Grange Festival. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to give that to her. But uh, let's see. I need to give her the amaranth. So let's go around here. Beautiful. There we go. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. My cows are going to love this. Oh, I got some friendship points with her now. I think I need level... Oh, I can get the shorts. I won. I got the shorts. The lucky purple shorts. Better return it to Lewis. Hang on. Is there more than one pair of shorts? Can I get more shorts? Did I just get two pairs? Oh, that must be a bug with the new 1.3 beta. But uh, maybe I can keep a pair for myself. Mm. Some of you were telling me to put it in the festival. But that will upset the man. Yeah, that's not fair. But uh, anyway, it's Sunday, so we can go and visit the nice traveling cart. Let's pick up the mushroom and let's say hi to the piggy as always. Oh, yes, piggy. And let's see what you have for sale today. So, mm, let's see, some pretty average items. Oh, an omelette. Uh, I think I'll get one of those. Why not? Because I have lots of money at the moment. So, rice pudding, puffer fish. I don't think I need the fish anymore. Plum pudding, a puzzle table. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I want one of those. And we've got a rare crow. Now, I already have the snowman one. So, yeah, I don't really need that. I think I'm pretty good for the rest of this stuff. That was a bit of a bust. But, hey, you can't win them all, people. Now, we need to go give Sebastian his eggplant. Oh, it's so random. And the mayo shorts. 
I was just wandering around town looking for the mayor to give him his shorts and I bumped into Abigail and she's talking about dyeing her hair again. What do you think? So is purple not her natural color? Who knows? But well, I guess people don't have purple hair, do they? So dye it black. Why not blonde? How about bubblegum pink? Or I like your hair just the way it is. So that's probably the thing a nice person would say when you're trying to compliment. But I think Abigail's a little bit different, so... No, I don't think... Maybe she likes different stuff. I think we'll go bubblegum pink. Let's see what she says. You're always good for a laugh. Oh, I got another heart point with her. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, if we get one more, we get another scene with Abigail. But uh, I'm going to continue looking for the mayor anyway. Hmm, I'm standing out here in, in the random place holding an eggplant. I wonder if this person would like it. Let's say, say hi to Sebastian. Yes, hey, thanks for the help. This is just what I wanted. That's awesome, no problems. The sun is coming out less and less these days. Wonderful. So it looks like Sebastian likes the winter. And uh, that means we've handed in our quest. Yes, 180 gold. Beautiful. The next on our list is the mayor. Let's go find him with the shorts. Hmm, I have a pair of shorts here. I wonder if a certain mayor is interested in them. I might sneak up on him and just throw them at him. Maha! <laughs> you found them where? Oh, um... <laughs> oh, yes, we're up to two hearts with him. There, I have no idea how they could have gotten there. Oh, Lewis, your secret is safe between me. This stays between you and me, got it? Oh, goodness. So I think the mayor and uh, Marnie are in love with each other. So I think if you get more hearts with them, you can get some scenes and stuff. So that's kind of cool. But uh, what we might do, guys... Oh, we finished the quest. Oh, 750. That is huge. So what I might do tomorrow is just a little bit of farming. And then we'll skip ahead to the festival. Uh, because I can't wait to see what it's all about. And we'll say hi to Hayley. I've never been to the forest. It's muddy and I could get a blister on my foot. Oh, Hayley, you gotta live a little sometimes. <laughs> Let's zoom ahead. Oh my gosh, it's here. Today's the day of the festival. I'm so excited. And we've got a new table too. Looks really cool. <gasps> So let's check what's going on today before we get all this happening, people. I'm, oh, I can't wait. It's going to be cloudy tomorrow, which is pretty much the weather most days in fall. And how the spirits, they feel neutral. At least they're not upset. Actually, they've been pretty happy lately. And uh, one thing I also want to do before the festival starts, I'd like to start making some mayonnaise uh, so we can get that ready because I don't think the festival starts till 9 and... Whoa, look at all this stuff that's ready for harvesting. Holy moly, now can we get the honey without destroying my nice flowers? Okay, easy, happy. Easy, I want that one and that one. Ooh, okay, I did it, beautiful. And yes, I destroyed another flower. We got seven fairy rose honey. That is absolutely amazing. We got some iron bars. You'll notice my axe isn't there. I put it in to get upgraded to a gold tier. So that's actually really cool. So we'll put that in there now. Let's see, what do I need to make a mayonnaise machine? 15 stone, 15 wood, earth crystal, and a copper bar. So, I've been saving a few earth crystals, so let's get that. I'll be able to make three of them, so that's actually pretty nice. So, let's see. Let's get these things made. One, two, and three. And uh, where am I going to put them? So, eventually, like I've made a little area for the flowers and the honey, I will make a space for them, but I think for now, I'll just keep lining them up along the fence here. So let's put them like this. Beautiful. Now, do I just like literally put the egg in it? Oh, that's easy. Okay, there we go. So we're starting to make mayonnaise as well. Now, let's see. I need to harvest these up. And as always, I don't want to destroy my stuff. So I, I just use quartz. I don't know why I use quartz. I just like it. So we'll collect all this. We've got the eggplants. All that good stuff. Now, the festival starts at 9, and as you guys remember, I've got all my items ready to go. So, I'll do my farming stuff, and then let's head to the festival. Okay, guys, all the farming is done, and we are making our way to the festival now. <gasps> yes, it's here. Oh, my gosh. So excited. Woo, I've been looking forward to this. And there's a shop. <gasps> Trade in your star tokens for prizes. So, we can earn star tokens in this. And there's lots of cool stuff you can buy. And you can actually save them year to year. And, oh, star drop. I want it. 2,000 tokens. Oh, we're going to have to win a few. But uh, let's talk to the mayor. Well, Aaron, it's the big day. Our most important festival of the year. The Stardew Valley Fair. If you'd like to participate by setting up a Grange display, I've left an empty stand for you. Just let me know after you've set, set everything up so we can get to the judging. <gasps> Yes, and there's a strength thing. Oh, hello, strong guy. Are you strong like me? Smash stone! <laughs> I, I think, do we have to hit it? Please stand by the red arrow. Okay, oh, do I have to click it or something? Woo -hoo -hoo! Strength level, mountain troll. I'm a mountain troll. Woo -hoo -hoo! 
Pierre is very serious about his Grange display. He's been setting aside the best looking produce for weeks in preparation. <gasps> his actually his display does look pretty good. <laughs> my store carries the very finest quality products in the whole valley. Please inspect my Grange display closely to see for yourself. Well, we're going to set up our own one. Oh, man, he's here as well. I tried my best, but my display is pretty weak compared to Pierre's. She's got, oh, she's got like lots of animal products like cheese and eggs. So how does this work? Ah, oh, okay. So like we put the stuff in there. Okay, so as I said, guys, my strategy was to try and have something from all the different aspects of Stardew Valley. So we've got lots of different things and uh, we'll put it all in and, and we've got the cake in the middle. <laughs> okay, so hopefully, hopefully that does okay. I'm not sure. And, oh, Willie's here too, the pirate. Are you setting up a greens display, Aaron? It's your chance to show awful <laughs> produce from Slimy's Cove. Oh, hey, this is a new person. Who are you? Tourists. Well, that's the biggest cheese wheel I've ever seen. Very, imp It is actually pretty impressive. So I think you can look around at everything, but you can actually ask the mayor to judge the display early, which we are going to do. Oh, are you already finished setting up your grain display? Yes, I am. Can you please do some judging? Is he going to judge? On oh, yeah, okay. So he's going to have a look at them all and judge them. And uh, he'll, we'll talk to him in a moment when he's finished. So we've got some tourists here. It was a long bus ride here, but totally worth it. This valley is so beautiful. Simon loves it. Don't you, Simon? Oh, and there's Abigail. I already beat all the games. Now what? Oh, Abigail. Well, Abigail is a bit of a gamer, so no, no surprises there. It's a fine looking town you've got here. Nice and cozy and a real sense of community. And uh, what's this thing? Selling star tokens for just 50 gold. Ooh, so if I'm a little bit short, I can buy some extra ones. Now it looks like your grains display has been judged. Whoa, are you ready guys? How did we go? I don't know, I'm pretty happy with it, but uh, let's find out. <gasps> Congrat, yes, we won. Oh my gosh, first place with a rating of 106 points. <gasps> I got a thousand star tokens. Your prize is a thousand star tokens. Spend them wisely. Woo! And don't forget to clean out your Grange display box. Yeah, a lot of you were telling me in the comments you need to you need to take your stuff back or you can actually lose it. Now, you know how forgetful I am, guys. I will if I play the games first, I will forget to get my stuff. Now, if you guys remember, we need 2000 star tokens to get the star drop and there is a gambling wheel here which we might have a look at. I played the strength game too many times and now my arms feel like rubber. And uh, what's Hayley got to say? Have you been to the fortune teller? She set up her stand in the graveyard. Ooh, that's a bit scary. Oh my gosh, guys, I want this star drop. Step right up, pick a color, and place your bet for a chance to double your wager. <gasps> so we can actually bet our star tokens to try and win. So I don't know, I like green, we're a farmer, and uh, we are going to wager all 1,000 tokens. <gasps> I'm so nervous! Oh no! Oh come on, come on! I want the token thingies! No, no! Keep going, keep going! Yes! We did it! Woohoo! <laughs> oh my goodness! We can get the star drop! Yes! Now, there is other items you can get too, like rare crows and stuff, but I really want the star drop! <gasps> okay, we got it! Yes! Yes! Star drop time! Woo! <laughs> So, is it going to do the whole thing again? Yes, you found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of cookies. Your maximum energy level has increased. Now, we can't quite see it now, but I think it gives me another 30 points or something like that. So, now all that's left is to play all the other games. Hmm, Abigail, what should we play first? This has a target on it, so maybe this is some sort of slingshot game and win star tokens. It's only 50 gold to play. So, um, okay, we're in the Wild West by the looks of it. How do I, how do I aim? Ah, this is so, what on earth? It's so far. Oh, oh yes, I actually hit something. Oh, this aiming is terrible. Oh, yes, I hit a thingy out there. Okay, beautiful. I'm the best aimer ever. It's, it's, it's too quick. I can't aim it. I like how we're like, like throwing the stones out there. Yes, I got another one. Oh, this is, what is with this aiming? I hate it. 
Okay, here we go. We gotta get this. Ah, yes. Let's get lots of thingies. Bang, 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 bang. Yes, come on, Rappy. You can do it. Get lots of them. Woo! Are these purple ones good? Oh, they're worth five. <gasps> okay, I'm, I, I'm getting... Okay, if I if I leave it down here, it's a, a bit easier to aim. Okay, here we go. Yep, nice, Happy. You managed to miss all of them. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no, I want to win. 27. I don't think that's a good score. Accuracy, 56%. No accuracy bonus. Oh, no reward. Try, I can't I try hard. Ooh, are you kidding me? I tried my best. Okay, that game sucks. <laughs> okay, what's this? A fishing one? All right, Pam's here. Better hurry up, kid, before old Pam here fishes every last lunker out of the tent. Oh, uh, try your hand at some fishing. Okay, how does this one work? <laughs> Is this literally just... Do I just... Oh, okay. It's like just normal fishing, I guess. But I wonder if my fishing skill helps here. I think it does because I've got a pretty good fishing skill. And do I get to keep the fish? Like, what am I going to catch in here? Perfect. Okay, we got a... Oh, I don't, I don't think I get to keep the fishies. So, anyway, let's zoom ahead and see how I do. Okay, this was a bit easier because I've got a good fishing skill. And oh, as, as I just mess it up. Yeah, nice one, Happy. I got some algae at the end. Okay, I got 127. Uh, is that a good score? I caught six fishies. Oh, perfection bonus. Yes. 210 star tokens. I could have just done this instead. This is easy. Oh my goodness. I might have to grind some to get some of the other rewards, but that's actually not a bad challenge. You know, I would have made a pretty good clown. I think I missed my calling. Yeah, Emily is pretty fun. She'd be funny as a clown. And uh, he doesn't look very happy. I guess Mayor Lewis has to cut costs with a budget clown this year. Oh, I thought that was Mayor Lewis for a second, but I just talked to him before. Robin really works hard for on her carpentry stuff. She deserves a little recognition now and again. Yeah, she is pretty amazing. Woodworking is an ancient tradition that I'm very proud to be part of. That is true, and she's done like a carving there. I really admire Robin's carpentry skills. I use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of work. Okay, and we've got... Oh, there's Marlin. Clint's blades get sharper every year. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a shield. I want the shield. Oh my goodness. I complain about my job sometimes, but I do take pride in my work. There are some of these are some of my finest pieces. I hope you like them. You should have gone in the Grange display. <gasps> the wizard's there as well. Oh, that's right. The fortune teller's there. Let's go say hi to them. Ah, I can't get through. Let me through. All right, we'll talk to the wizard first. Welwick and I have known each other for a long time. She is a remarkable diviner and a good friend. Okay, well, that's nice. Let's see what you've got to say. Ah, yes, my crystal ball is swirling with visions of your future, young one. Okay, what's my fortune? <gasps> ah, yes, it's Lewis's birthday. He thought everyone forgot, but then you show up with a nice gift. What a good friend. Ah, interesting. I see you and Abigail working together on a farm. Oh, <laughs> you seem very pleased about something. The crystal ball has moved on. Ah, you're, you're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark, but you seem more than ready to face it. <gasps> ah, the crystal ball has gone dim. That's all I can tell do for you, young one. Now, just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you today can still be changed if you set your heart on it. <gasps> okay, maybe that gives you, like, some progress updates on how you're doing. So, I must have the most romance with Abigail at the moment. Oh, I've got three hearts. Yeah, that makes sense. So, let's say hi to these guys quickly. It's kind of hectic today. I'm just going to hang out here for a while. Yeah, I don't blame you, Sebastian. Hey, Aaron, having a good time? Yeah, pretty good. Oh, there's a petting zoo. No way. There's chickens and cows and your piggy. <laughs> I think if I get a piggy, I can actually get truffles on the farm too. And just a few steps over there, Gus is grilling up a batch of pork ribs. <laughs> oh, no. Moo. Ow, a hen pecked my little finger. Oh, poor Jazz. How's Shane doing today? All these animals are friendly and love to get massaged. Oh, that's why we pet the animals every day. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for the festival. So let's just have one last check at this star drop shop and uh, see if there's anything else I should grind for. So let's see. I can get dried sunflowers. I can get the rare crow for 800 stars. I probably should do that. So I'll do the uh, fishing challenge a few more times and we'll get on with our adventure. Come on, fishy. Can we get enough star tokens? I think we might be all right. Oh, goodness. I got 129. So I got some... Yes, 338. 
I've got 810. Yes, I can get the rare crow. <gasps> this is so good, people. Oh my goodness. And they'll say hi to the strength guy. I wonder if you get a prize if you get the biggest strength thing. Who knows? But all we need to do is pick up our rare crow. I think it's like a witch or something. And uh, I think we're pretty much done with the festival for now. Leave the Stardew Valley Fair. Actually, I'll just double check. Did I get all my items? Yes, I got my items. Oh, that was really fun. I enjoyed that. Oh, it's night time. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, look, our mayonnaise is ready. I got a diamond from the, the, the crystallarium thing. And uh, we'll put our new rare crow in. But uh, guys, looking at the time. Oh, I've got some sunflowers ready too. Awesome. Looking at the time. We'll start to wrap that up there for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I had so much fun making it. Smash the like button if you're enjoying our Stardew Valley series. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And here's the most important part as always. You'll stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days signing out. See ya.